Hi family, I have really been excited about sharing this daily update with our church during the, this uh, coronavirus pandemic, especially since Becky told me what she'd like to talk to you about today. Several years ago, it became popular to choose a life verse, uh, a verse out of the Bible that really meant something to you. And decades ago, I had a scripture I had memorized, never really referred to it as a life verse, but that's what it has become for me. Yep. So I'm going to be reading out of Psalms 113, verse 9. It says, He gives the childless woman a household, making her the joyful mother of children. Hallelujah. You know, when I first memorized this, we were in that decade of being childless. Yep. And that little phrase, the uh, mother of children, really stood out to me. It was an encouragement. But through all of this that's been going on, it kind of speaks to me again. The first thing it says is the childless woman. That's a situation you can't control. There's nothing you can do about it. And that's kind of where we are right now. The second thing is he says he will make her joyful. Mm -hmm. Joy is not the normal response to a situation like we're in at the moment. That Absolutely. is something that comes unnaturally out of our relationship with Christ. The other thing is we are parents. We yeah. are parents of children and they are watching us right now. They want to know if these are just good words for Sunday or if this is what's really real in our lives. And they can tell that by the way we respond. The first word in this verse says, he gives. That's God's response to me. Yeah. The last words in this verse is hallelujah. That's my response back to God. Come on, Victor. <laughs> I like that. You know, it's funny. I knew your life first, but I didn't know just what you were going to share today. And so this morning in my devotions, um, Deuteronomy 11.7 stood out to me where the Lord says he done all these mighty works that we could see with our own eyes. And I just began jotting down the miracles that we've seen God do throughout our lifetime. Oh my goodness. Pages yeah. and pages. Pages and pages. And just a few moments ago, I was talking with a businessman on the phone and I've really, we've really both worked hard at trying mm -hmm. to be an encouragement and help people with encouragement from God's Word, uh, people with their families and children. And I know you've been busy on the phone. I've been busy on the phone. And um, we've been busy, you know, trying to make these little video clips each day. But you are seeing, I think, miracles happen right now. Don't let all the bad news that you see on the television rob you of seeing the invisible hand of God at work in your life. And remember what he's done for you in the past. So let's have a word of prayer together. Is there anything else that we need to let folks know? Just we're still here. If you need us, please message. Uh, we will try to respond as quickly as possible. Yep. And last night's uh, sermon is online at Facebook and I believe on YouTube. Don't forget to worship with us this Sunday. Becky and I will be coming back tomorrow to make a, another uh, daily update for you. And I think I'll share one of my life verses. I have several life verses, <laughs> you know, so yeah, we'll, we'll share one tomorrow with you as well. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you that um, this word, I remember the night that uh, you gave that word to Becky. I remember we were praying together. We were holding hands and just kneeling in the sanctuary of the church that we used to be youth pastors in, Lord, and you spoke to us there. And God, you have abundantly answered our prayer, not only with our children and our grandchildren, but when I think about all the spiritual children, Lord, that you've given us through the decades, I thank you for your invisible hand and for the miracles that you're doing in people's lives. Sustain us, grant us peace, grant us provision. And Lord, as you spoke to Abraham, that he and the children of Israel were to be a blessing, we ask you, Lord, would you make your church a blessing to our world and our community? I love you, Lord. I love this family that we call Woodland, for it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.